Dang. What's up, YouTube? Murder Kiss back here. Bring you guys another POV video today. As you can see, I actually just washed the uh, SOK. Looks really good. Um, I would, uh, you know, like towel it or whatever, but feeling pretty lazy right now. I'm gonna just let it air dry. Um, it doesn't really streak that bad, especially when you uh, kind of give it some gas. There it goes. I turned the uh, radio off just cause uh, copyright. But yeah, let's get out of here. Gotta reverse. But yeah, that's a nice little spot. Uh, free car wash, basically. Um, shout out this neighborhood. But yeah, guys, I got the uh, top, top down. It's in the coupe mode, as you can see from the beginning. Um, just cause I don't want, I just washed it. I don't think I should put the top down. Wow, look at that dog, it's, that thing looks mean. Um, but yeah guys, pretty stoked. Just got it washed. I'm waiting for these people to go. Oh, it's a green light, let's go. Oh, we had a fire truck come through. Are we good to go? Yeah, I guess we are. <laughs> There's the air dry. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, I'm at 83K miles on this thing. I gotta watch out. There's a speed camera. But yeah, I'm 83k miles on this baby, and it's <laughs> honestly so much better than uh, maintenance-wise than my 328. Uh, my 328 was a lot newer. It was a 08. This is a 1998, so it's like a 10-year difference. But honestly, performance-wise, I'd say this is a. Uh, I'd say this is actually quicker than my 328. It feels a lot quicker. Um, this is supercharged. The uh, 28 I had was the E90 generation, so it just had the, uh, what it, well, I'm gonna get over actually. Like I was saying, it, it was a naturally aspirated, and I learned so much through having that thing. It was a N51. If you're gonna get a that BMW, do not get N51, and it had X Drive. So uh, all I can tell you is just problems, lots and lots of problems. But this thing just, this thing just goes. Yeah, no, this thing just goes, guys. I'm gonna take a right here. Ooh, I could have gone straight but yeah that car had so many issues this one I've had it for like 4,000 miles um, if you've watched my previous videos uh, I've kind of gone over like what I've done I haven't done much to this just oil change two front new tires probably got to replace the ones in the back they're kind of old but the history of this car is uh, it was just sitting for a while before I uh, got the keys to this thing and I got such a good deal um, and 
my plans with this car i don't know how long i'm gonna keep it i kind of do want to sell it um just keep the you know like the channel uh fresh but i'm just gonna do a bunch of videos while i have this thing and you know shout out to all my viewers uh you guys are awesome and kind of in this video i'll just talk about like what to look for so uh, i'm in the u.s uh east coast near dc i'm in the suburb of dc and you can pick these cars up for around like between i'd say two to five thousand um depending on the condition five thousand being like pretty much everything's flawless and uh this car drivetrain wise is flawless the engine and transmission on this car is super good and that's all i really care about to be honest um i just you know i don't want anything that uh you know isn't uh you know working especially if it's like transmission or or engine issues but this is equipped with the five speed automatic and um all, all i have to say is it's it's like a tank transmission i believe they used this transmission in a lot of the mercedes cars so they're plentiful and uh they they last really you know they're really good transmissions um they withstand all the power and abuse oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> Um, let me turn the lights on. But like I was saying, uh, if you're in the market for one of these, I definitely uh, just check the uh, Carfax or the maintenance history. Make sure there's no accidents. Check the owners. Um, I lucked out. The uh, owner I bought it from didn't really speak English. So uh, shout out to high school. I took like Spanish four, up to Spanish four and uh, that's probably one of the best uh, classes for the real world, honestly. Uh, learn knowing Spanish uh, it was a game changer. It basically got me this car. I uh, communicated with the owner, uh, talked him down. He was trying to get like 3K, talked him down to two because uh, I had the cash in my hand and I think he just needed the cash. So uh, shout out that guy. But I mean, this car has been just such a like treat to just drive and own. Um, I, I've owned it for like a couple months now. Um, driven it to DC, into the city. Super fun. Uh, you know, I get a lot of compliments when I go to the gas station. Cause this is like a two door roadster. Um, not you know not like a common car every car I see is like a sedan or like SUV or a truck but uh, this is a two-door and I honestly I think I'm just gonna stick with the two doors as a uh, as my fun car they just the, the way they handle the way they look I think uh, two doors are the move but yeah guys uh, back to what I was saying if you're in the market for one of these just make sure the maintenance is good uh, these Mercedes really nailed this uh, 2.3 liter supercharged engine so nice oh my god when when that supercharger kicks in dude this thing is just money um it's pretty good on gas also i will say it's actually really good on gas for a uh, performance car just because it's an inline four um it kind of sips on the gas compared to my uh e90 that thing ate gas like a like a truck um doesn't help that I have a lead foot, but even with a lead foot, this thing actually gets really good gas mileage in my opinion. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna take you down one of my favorite roads to drive on. 
Um, super nice out too. And like when you want to drive chill, this thing drives super chill too. Like it's, it's just like a very chill car. Um, no complaints at all. Mercedes absolutely nailed this. This is the first generation of the SLK. And uh, if you, you know you want something sporty, I think this is the way to go. Uh, Matt, I think, I, I mean, knock on the uh, exterior, but this thing is like, I want to say almost bulletproof because I've I've just been flooring it and flooring it and flooring it and it loves it. It love it loves to uh, accelerate and go fast, especially on the highway. This thing's a beast on the highway. The way it feels, super nimble, um, good steering, good feel to the ground, and when I want to, I just drop the top, and it just that experience is so nice. Uh, this is like my first rear wheel drive convertible car. So a lot of firsts with this one. Is this guy gonna go? I don't know what that minivan's doing. But yeah, this car is just effortless. It it just it's super, you know, lightweight, so it's super nimble. And the the powertrain is just excellent in my opinion. But yeah, you just gotta be careful on this turn right here. But yeah, guys, this is like probably my favorite spot. Look at this. Wow, that sun looks good. I'll just rev it for you guys. <laughs> Sounds good too. Um, that dude, that supercharger, it's a baby supercharger, but it, it, it puts in work. Um, definitely gonna have to, you know, do the maintenance on the, uh, fluid. I have yet to change the, uh, supercharger fluid. Uh, it will prolong the life. I'll probably do a video on that. But anyways, I'm gonna just go enjoy the scenery, enjoy the vibes. Uh, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Merdicus out. Peace.